guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will see how to expose a class as a SOAP service. Now, the reason to expose a class as a SOAP service is so that a external system, let's say this is an external system, and uh, using the SOAP service, he can call your Salesforce. So he can go ahead and call the Salesforce service from an external system and it can access the data. So what are the rules that we need to follow whenever you have to, to expose a class as a SOAP service? So the first thing is you have to define your class as global. So as you can see here in the snapshot, I have created this class and the class is called my SOAP web service and I'm using this global keyword. So the first rule that you have to follow is any class that you want to expose, you have to use the global keyword, not public. You have to use the global keyword. And the next thing is add the web service keyword and the static definition modifier to each method you want to expose. So inside of this Apex class, whichever methods that you want an external system can call, you have to decorate that method with the web service keyword and you have to make the method static. So these are the two keywords that you have to use with any method you want to expose inside of this web service. The reason the web service keyword is used so that it provides global access to the method it is added to. So it does basically make this method a global so that systems outside of Salesforce will be able to access this method. This is the rules that you need to follow in order to expose a class as a SOAP service. You have to use the global keyword here. You can see this is the global keyword. You have to use a web service keyword and a static keyword with the method inside of this web service. And then you can call this web service from an external system. We can call them from a post client and stuff like that. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is we will create a custom SOAP service and then we will test that from the postman. So we're going to do that from the postman. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.